What's going on world? It's your homie Sensei Rip and I'm back again with another video. Today we got Jerry Jones responding to LeBron James criticizing media over its lack of coverage on the Jerry Jones 1957 segregation picture. That's right, y'all. Y'all know how we do. Before we get into what Jerry Jones had to say about LeBron criticizing media, let's hear the snippet from LeBron himself so you can hear exactly what was said. And I will catch y'all afterwards in my commentary. All right, so with that being said, let's get right into it. I was thinking when I was on my way over here, I was wondering why I haven't gotten a question from you guys about the Jerry Jones photo. But when the Kyrie thing was going on, you guys were quick to ask us questions about that. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I don't even want you guys to say nothing. When I watched Kyrie talk and he says, I know who I am, but I want to keep the same energy we're talking about my people and the things that we've been through. And that Jerry Jones photo is one of those moments that our people, black people, have been through in America. And I feel like as a black man, as a black athlete, as someone with power and a platform, when we do something wrong, or, or something that people don't agree with. It's on every single tabloid, every single news coverage, it's on the bottom ticker, it's asked about every single day. But it seems like to me that the whole Jerry Jones situation photo, and I know it was years and years ago and we all made mistakes, I get it. But it seemed like it's just been buried under like, oh, it happened, okay, we just, we just move on. I was curious. I know you've talked to us so much about, you know, obviously your focus is this football team, but monitoring across the rest of the sports landscape. I was curious if you heard about what LeBron James said about media disparity and not that long ago, he had said he's not particularly a Cowboys fan anymore. Did you hear what LeBron said? And would you have any interest in meeting with him and chatting with him? Well, first of all, you have to hear me say how much I think of LeBron. And uh, uh, I, I couldn't, uh, I don't know of anybody I respect anymore. Uh, I don't know of anybody that has uh, taken every opportunity he's had and maximized it. Uh, he uh, not only is an absolute great uh, ambassador for sport, he has taken sports, he's taken his venues, and use those platforms. Uh, I've, I've just, uh, I want to be sure that you know where I'm coming from. And it was, uh, made buttons pop off my vest, so to speak, when uh, he would talk about how much of a cowboy fan he was, and he would have made a great tie in. So, uh, and that has that doesn't change. There's, there's nothing about any of that that changes. And um, I did hear what he had to say. Did you have any, I guess, general thoughts about, I mean, I know all the praise. Did you have any general thoughts about what? I'm just giving them to you. Okay. Excuse me. I'm just giving them to you there. I just, uh, uh, certainly he has influence and, and um, uh, just because of all of the above, his accomplishments, his, uh, how he's utilized his sport, how he's utilized his platform, uh, how, how we have, uh, how we have done it. He's, uh, he's made, he has enhanced uh, uh, basketball. He's made a lot of people a lot of money. Uh, I hope I have too. Well, let's talk about it, y'all. That was Jerry Jones responding to LeBron James, criticizing media over its lack of coverage on the 1957 segregation photo, showing Jerry Jones standing in at a protest in which white school kids were preventing black school kids from entering the building. That's right, y'all. And uh, as you heard Jerry Jones state, you know, he gave LeBron a lot of praise, man. Acknowledged the fact that he would have been a hell of a tight end in the NFL. Uh, acknowledged the, the impact LeBron has had on the league. While also stating the fact that LeBron has made a lot of people money. But like Jerry also said, so was he. So <laughs> what's that mean? Huh? What's, what's that mean? What's the money got to do with the issue at hand? Hmm. Crazy, right?
man really didn't acknowledge the issue here. And, and the issue is that players are tired of feeling suppressed and muzzled when it comes to speaking on the injustices that happen in the black community in America. Now, none of this would have been an issue uh, if it wasn't for the whole Kaepernick situation. When Kaepernick came out and said he was going to raise, you know, awareness and start dialogue on some of the things that he was witnessing out here in this world, not only was fans of the NFL, but owners, right, of these teams like Jerry Jones rush to inform their players that they would not be speaking on the politics and, you know, the racial issues that happen in this country and that they will be forced to stand during the national anthem, even though certain lyrics in the national anthem uh, did not benefit black people, right? It's it's a known fact that they had to revise some of the lyrics in the national anthem. No, no, no. We don't care. Stand, acknowledge your country and be a, a great patriot. This is how they looked at it, man. Instead of considering the fact that most of these leagues uh, are filled up with black players, right? You wouldn't be able to make the millions and billions without the athletes, but they didn't care. People just wanted to overlook it, overlook the history. That's a part of America. It's funny how you not kneeling, excuse me, you kneeling for the, for the national anthem is disrespectful, but the mistreatment of black people in America somehow isn't. Are we not a part of America? Are we not citizens? And the funny thing is the media is complicit because all they do is add fuel to the fire. They came in there every day looking for a headline to run with to continue to add more fuel and chaos to the Kyrie situation. But when it comes to Jerry Jones and people that look like Jerry, they get sympathy, deflection, overlooked, dismissed. Back to our regular schedule program, man. Y'all let me know what's your thoughts on Jerry Jones' response to LeBron criticizing media. And also, what's your thoughts on Jerry Jones not publicly denouncing racism? Let me know down below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My sen my name is Sensei Rip. Excuse me. I'll catch y'all later. Till next time, peace.